Greetings. So this is going to be a general love reading for the Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, also Venus signs. This reading is more targeted for those who have a past lover or connection. Come back in to your life within March 2019. This is still general. Um, so please keep in mind that all messages may or may not resonate or the whole collective message may or may not resonate for you. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. And thank you to all of my old and my new subscribers. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. If this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up. If you um, wish to comment, I would love to hear from you. If you are interested in a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below. You also can follow me on Instagram at boostspirit.insight for daily pick a card readings as well as chances to win free readings. I think I touched base with everything, so let me shuffle a couple more times and then we'll go ahead and pull the spread. said that I hope I did that this is for Pisces Pisces y'all it's late it's like probably two o'clock or something 2 a.m Okay, so what I'm feeling already is that this person um, is just wanting to communicate, I feel like, after um, something's going pretty bad, I feel like. Um, we got the Page of Swords, the Five of Swords, or the Five of Wands in reverse, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Wands. The Six of Swords and the Ten of Swords. The Nine of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like this person wants to come back in and just acknowledge your pain and acknowledge that they understand. Uh, just take accountability, I feel like. I think they just want to acknowledge that there was hurt in this in this connection within this connection and um they're wanting to be open about that i feel like let's get some more clarity why is the page of swords here with the five of wands in reverse why is the page of swords with the five of wands in reverse let me see more clarity Okay, so we got the emperor. So yeah, I feel like this person is being like mature. And I feel like, um, I just feel like they're trying to take accountability. Like the emperor energy is a leader, a boss. And sometimes leaders and boss, they have to take accountability for other people's actions, for all of those things. So it's like just an energy of wanting to take accountability and just let you know that they know that they hurt you within this connection. And I feel like they also know that they messed up as well in this connection. And there's an energy of knowing that they can't go back. I feel like they may want to um, reconcile in a sense, but I just don't see it going good. though. And I don't think it, it doesn't necessarily have to be based off of bad intentions, but we do have the world card in reverse and the devil card. So whatever toxicity or whatever negativity was the end or the reason for the end of your union is still in cycle. It's not something that um, this person, even though they're in a more mature energy, it's not something that they've grown out of quite yet. 
So why is the three of swords here with the six of wands? Hi, girl. Hi. Yeah, look. What's that? Why is the three of swords here with the six of wands? Please take it to Something just jumped. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see. You got the lover's card. So, yeah, I feel like this person feels like you were a soulmate. It's kind of like an energy of, yeah, I know I fucked up. Like, I was wrong. But I feel like... Why is the Ten of Swords here? I just feel like they have not the best intentions. We got the Death card in reverse. See, there's still an old pattern or something. Whatever ended this communication or ended this relationship or connection before... It's still in cycle. It's still here. It's still. And I feel like it could have something to do with the way this person communicates. Maybe they say really hurtful things or maybe they confess something or committed to something. Um, I just feel like. nine of cups in reverse i feel like this person was in it for their own personal gain and i kind of feel an energy with the nine of cups in reverse that like it's a never-ending hole like you can never fill it up is what i'm getting so it's like this person was over indulgent in certain ways or certain behaviors because it's like they couldn't be fulfilled no matter what um they also may be draining as well um or just emotionally not fulfilling or just seeking emotional gain for their own personal selves and not really but I feel like they feel like you're their soulmate and I feel like they know that they fucked up why is the nine of swords in reverse with the queen of swords so I think that this person coming back in is going to allow you the opportunity to kind of stand your ground and to be more mind over heart in the situation and look at things more logically, like see the things from the bigger picture of things. Um, yeah, there was a third party. Someone, I feel like this person wants to make a decision not to juggle this into the union, but I feel like it's hard for them not to. Um, this could talk about drinking as well for some people. It's just some sort of addiction or some sort of over indulgent behavior in doing something um, outside of this union here. Um, but I think you just need to stand up for yourself and say how you really feel about it and kind of like don't just say it, mean it in your actions and in, in your tone and things like that. I feel like um, you shouldn't wait. I feel like you have waited a long enough for this person to get their things together. Um, and now it's just time for you to focus and move forward for yourself and in what you want to do. I think you need to let this go because this is not something that's based off of something that's stable and secure. Yeah, I feel like this person, seven of swords and seven swords in reverse and three of pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person was deceptive and I feel like things just won't really work the way that you want to work in this connection. So it's best to just let it be done. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. You can check, like I said, your moon and your rising and your Venus sign. You also can book a personal reading with me. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.